All right, hello everybody. Welcome to VR Master League, and welcome to season five officially. Now we are on day two. This is stream one, and on it I am Palador, being joined by Lucky Eleven, and we have an EU Master Tier game. Lucky, how's it going? I mean, I'm I'm hyped to see uh, the first match in EU, pretty much. I mean, I don't think we've had one yet, but. If this is the first one, then it's a pleasure to be casting it with you. Yeah, we get a diamond tier team. It's not oh, right, the right. first match, Di but it's the diamond, first casting match. Diamond, I said master, but yes, close, close. These yeah, teams could closer. feasibly be master, for exactly. sure. Exactly, I mean, and that's what they're going to be fighting for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and exactly. They're going to be working as hard as they can, and if fireballs are not, this is like the time to get your win, because if you win now, you're going to be moving up a lot. If you lose now, you could be moving down a lot, because... We're early doors into the season, and these teams, close rivals, I mean, they've played before in EU in the past seasons, and they've always come close, it seems, and it's always been sort of a, a bit of a challenge, and they're both pushing on the edge of Master, but Nant has been the one to actually usually come on top, and plus, Nant has actually made it into Master before, yeah. whereas Fireballs have not been able to do so. Yeah, we were talking about it a little bit on uh, uh, before that we went live here, but... How, how they're, they're a roster that's changed, but they endure, it seems like, right? They, yeah. Uh, no matter what uh, players they have coming in and out, they still endure season to season. They're still right there at the very high levels, whether it's Master or it's High Diamond, they're still there. Uh, from Fireballs, yeah. as I recall, uh, they they were one of the teams who did impress me, especially late in Season 4. I remember, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, in those last three, four weeks, I cast them a couple of times. I remember one particular week, they, they were just on fire uh creating some upsets and everything right, so you know it's gonna be an interesting match for sure to start off a new season just to see where the development has gone mm. the last few months yeah i'm i'm kind of looking forward to it because i also is a, a bit of a there's like roster changes always with none and they're always coming out with new teams but they always keep the same name and i want to see what they bring to the table this season and especially with off seasons things change so we're not going to be saying seeing the regular thing that we always see and you're not going to be able to see anything that you're used to because i mean on eu especially at the moment like we've had teams i would have never expected getting into master through those master qualifiers and they've done so in a strong position and it's been surprising and the surprise won't end just in master it'll come around in diamonds as well but without further ado they seem to be ready and so am i all right so again thanks for joining us here on our first cast here in eu of the season for season five of vrml we've got nonce esports on blue and on orange the fireballs already off to the races on this first joust with a hyper well maybe too hyper of a pass kind of got disarrayed there as hex will take it x taking the disc now and he's gonna pass it clear it all the way through actually now looking to recollect it's gonna be into the hands of vr zeta as vr zeta maybe sending a shot there it's gonna be a little bit high however they recollect and off the backboard vr zeta backing up their own shot to put it in for two and start them on the board and that is a fiery start they've done well there certainly is and already the celebrations coming out from uh, both those stacked players uh, zeta and just raising the arms to the roof happy to get that first shot and start the season off the right way again the first this first stream goal essentially of season five yeah, clear coming down all the way here, and this could be a quick response from Nant, but a missed catch there, and they're going to be able to punch that. No Hex able to get a recollect, looking for the pass down to Multi, not able to make it, however, as Dage takes the disc, resetting it out over to Alakos. Alakos moving on on the right-hand side, sending it up left over to Hex. Hex now maybe looking for Multi-cut, but he's going to just take the shot and forcing it in as Multi gets the stun on the goalie there. Hex equalizes 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, very nicely done. Just patiently played, all things considered. Uh, also, apologies for the lack of replays there. I'll try to maybe fix that. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, just an efficient way to start off things. Not too uh, not too frazzled or, or otherwise. Just found the right way, uh, angle of the shot. Now, Gretchen's B going to be able to take the disc. Looking for maybe a back pass or a one-two play there. As now we're going to see a... An attempted self-pass into a headbutt, which is a bit odd, but VR Zeta is going to be eventually having it. Gratusby now taking his time, looking for the right-hand side, sending it back left, not able to make it to Mark, though. Will that go punish? It looks like it will by Alakos. As Alakos moves down, collects his stack, and he's ready to go. Looks for the clear, however, intercepted quickly by Hyper. As now Hyper takes the shot, is that in? Yes, but it's going to be saved, I think, as Gratus now takes the shot. He will confirm that one, taking them up by two. Fireballs are looking good right now. And replays are still on the way, rest assured. Keep going, Lucky. You're doing, <laughs> you're doing great. 
All right, now five seconds. Let's get back into the action as now we get to see another Joust advantage coming from Nut. Last time it was explosive. They were in the half within a second. It looks like we're going to see the exact same thing. Hex taking the shot, looks on target, is, and Hex is going to confirm it. But three points to put them for a one point lead. And I mean, it's the speed coming in from this team at the moment. They take the pass. In two, in two passes, they're already in the enemy zone and then immediately taking a long shot and the back stacks need to be back to take that one next time because they are coming out just as fast as fireballs, it seems. All right, well, fast is that launch coming out. Defensively, they still managed to get the pass off as Hyper will take it away from the mid zone, just checking behind constantly as the stacks join them on the forward, the front line. Uh, Zyda over on that right side, just picking it off. No one contesting, so they're going to move up with some potential uh, opportunities. What a beautiful pass, threading the needle, oh, but outside, the surgeon, and will stop the defensive oh. play, but still yet stunned the second time, and it will go with a persistence. Nice plays on both ends. I mean, this is something you really have to remember about, like, what makes a strong team in VRML and what makes a significant one is usually quite the keeper and Multi proving himself to be such that. I mean, brilliant save from close range and pressure coming in from stuns of other players, but he does not care about it. Having said that, he may be able to make a play on the offensive as well as he passes it back to Hex. Hex, however, gets surprised by the player coming in on the back as Hyper gets the clear out. That looks good, like it's all the way through. However, Hex able to recollect, but Hyper on his tail once again, getting that stun out. However, Hyper is going to lose the disc and Hex takes it for the clear. And tapping it off Alakos right past Kareka, so they're going to send it right down and stack up quickly for the recovery. Nonetheless, there's two stacks meeting in the bubble, a third in the midfield, but they just miss the handles. And just as well, one of these stacks getting disrupted off some Geo. This uh, does allow the recovery, but I take Whoa. that back because they sure did. And once again, it's a 6-5 to five game and a few clears in a row. Neither team with control quite yet, although maybe an open shot. No, defense recovering and just the same, the shot a bit low. I mean, it's a bit thankful that that shot wasn't lo was low because otherwise Stacks would have caught it immediately and be able to make even a quicker offense. But with that being said, it's a missed shot coming now from both sides that we've seen sh back to back. And now a missed clear as Hyper is going to be able to punish that and take it, looking to pass it all the way over to VR Zeta. VR Zeta now clearing it down low left. It's going to be an easy bounce to read, but does anyone do it? Yes, it's Dage. Dage on the right-hand side now. I'm pushing up field. Good intercept by Gratuzzi. He's got an open goal. He takes the shot. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's not in just yet. Oh, that was a good attempt, though, and even was trying to paint that bottom uh, pocket as well, recognizing the defenders in the zone otherwise. But the stun now coming out from Dej. Dej being stunned in return. Hyper with the hyper extension, and now they're trying to get that play as the defense was dragged out of the bubble, but grabbing the disc and not uh, getting the clear was Dej. Second attempt will be a lot cleaner, uh, at least finding its way into the trap and just enough for the stack to recover and maybe even take that open heave on that lane before it's picked. Maybe not the perfect clear, but they are persistent and they do eventually get the disc out of the zone. However, perfect clear comes in from the side of Fireballs. Now intercept, however, from Hex. Gets it down the field and now they have an attacking opportunity as the disc bends off to the side now. And we get JB, GB, sorry, getting the disc. Now he's going to send a clear. Intercepted easily by Hex, but stunned immediately. And now he's going to have to scramble for the disc. Who gets to it? It's going to be GB who gets a hand on it. Intercepted once again. These clears are on lockdown right now. A shot coming through. Ooh. It's on target nearly, but it'll just hit onto the ding. You said it right there. These clears are being intercepted left, right, and center. The steals as well. So a lot of clean picks in the midfield. There's another one, as we mentioned. So really, that midfield game is coming heavily into play. Neither team actually able to capitalize too much because of this exchange of possessions, and it'll just continue again. But you're noticing they're really <laughs> a sidestep com coming oh in from Dage, but there's, there's really not a lot of... Uh, Random oh. bounces. There is a shot, but that's a little high. Oh. Off that bounce, recovered by Alakos. Trying to make the most out of that situation. They're going to back it out, though, uh, right to the... Well, nobody, actually. It's going to take a bad bounce and clear into the uh, blue lane, where it'll re uh, be an open shot. And once again, oh. once again, just craziness in the midfield. No one controlling until finally uh, a dunk there. But that took a long time there off that last score. Yeah, that's ridiculously long, and you said it yourself. It's just constantly being able to intercept in the midfield. The stacks are doing so well to just keep it from turning over and getting into any significant offense at all. As that's being said, the QB is going to be denied early as they've tried the same one three times. However, a good steal and getting it through as now Multi will take it and take the yes. shot to make 8-7. And once again, we're straight back into a one-point game. And this is how Nant seem to be able to get their points. Off the QB quick and early. And I mean, it's within 10 seconds of the last goal. It is 
is ridiculously far from not, and they will get that in. Seven to eight now. Tends to happen a lot like that as well. You go a, a couple of minutes without uh, too much of the way of scoring, but then once that seal is broken, the next score, I'm, I'm telling you, such a high percentage of the time uh, comes immediately after. It's kind of funny how that works. Mm. But we'll see if it happens again. Just another grab. And that's been really the common theme of round one here, Lucky. Oh, and now a, a headbutt from one of the players of Nant on their own disc will maybe make it a bit more of a scramble. However, Alakos locking it down eventually. He does send it high. Going all the way down, will anyone from the side not be able to recollect? Yes, Dage does, but he's immediately stunned. Now, GB gets a quick tap off. However, not going to be intercepted by Alakos as Hyper gets a huge tap off all the way downfield. This is bouncing near the goal. BR Zeta is going to confirm this one right into the right-hand pocket. BR Zeta for the slam dunk. Kind of a gradual one, too. Just the defense was collapsing back into the goal, but still managed to find its way around Hex's outstretched arms. Uh, in the chat, by the by, I forgot to say hi to all you guys, but yeah, welcome to it. I see Ali with their, in there saying, doing another one in 45 minutes. That is correct. So after this match, which is, say, yeah, about 45 minutes from now, we will have, uh, let's see, let's see, Mamma Mia versus the Divide. And that will be a great one just as well. A great Divide, in fact, as I tried to divide the goal in half, but could not quite get the shot. Second attempt, Alakos loses the handles off the wall before Hex retains and then passes it off to the barrier. Is the third time the charm? Yes, sir. There's the goal. I was about to say this is looking really dangerous for Nant now because if I were told to bet on this game I would definitely put my money on the side of Nant because I mean they have some of the players that have been playing for a long time together I mean Dage, Multi and Hex are all really good friends Alacost also a really good friend they've all played for a long time and a lot of master tier players are present in this whereas from the side of Fireballs they have been playing for a long time together but don't have that master tier experience as much. So, however, right now they seem to be dominating the field with 10 to 9. And this is looking dangerous for Nant as another offense comes through. But good defense there, marking the players. Multi takes the disc and sends a good clear. Yeah, that was some really nice pass work up until that last one where the receiver was stunned out. So, great job by the defense. They need this goal. Could they get it to take a lead late? Passing it off, though, just being knocked loose oh, and another my. defensive play. GB, it's a big turnover. Huge turnover, in fact, especially if they can cap Ooh. it off with one more goal. And this could do it. And it won't. Oh, oh Hex a save. But oh, all back no. instead to Zeta. And that is all oh, she wrote. No. Wow. And Hex has his head in his hands because that is unfortunate. Fantastic save, really phenomenal. But then to immediately smack it into the pillar and to be recollected and scored on straight away is just really unfortunate and a mistake you can't afford to have right now when you needed that because the amount of time you had on the clock, you had to come back very quick and that save could have been really clutch, but unfortunately clear isn't going to be so good. Yeah, definitely a tough one. It's basically almost a, a peak moment, a highlight moment, and then uh, just as soon as you hit that, you're back in the valley again because it was an amazingly clutch save and they needed it so yeah. desperately. But just to follow it up with that, uh, it's, it's a tough thing, especially when there was, there was still theoretically enough time to maybe get that clear and score, maybe. But Yeah, about 14 seconds, so I yeah. mean, they could have definitely done it. Yeah, but that said... Just got to kind of ride the momentum of the positive moment, try to wipe off the negative one and go into the second round because, yeah. of course, in the VRML format, we are back to uh, best of three, 10 minutes, meaning it's going to be zero to zero. Uh, so it's score reset and importantly, mental reset, or at least ideally. Yeah, and right now they really need to be thinking about what they did wrong that round and what they can do to improve. And I mean... Honestly, they were so effective off of those QBs. They kept on scoring every single time. I think most of their points was off 10 seconds straight off their QB, getting like two passes downfield, either a long three or another pass, following in with a two. And something like that, again, repeating those great patterns that they had to get them goals. If they can do that, it can definitely create some impact. But Fireballs able to hold down defense really well so far, but also the goalie skills coming in from the side of Nant is impressive and if they can manage to get more saves like that it would be impressive backboard shot and again <laughs> the goalie skills coming in as the backboard shot was a wrong one to take because Alakos will get there in time and make the save as now the clear comes through and this can be punished after that save they might be able to get a goal to return they are there first with the stacks but not able to get a hand on it multi is chasing after it he will eventually looking for the low pass maybe gonna take his time sending it over the cross side it's now in the hands of Alakos Alakos you hear rounds a little, faking some passes. Gonna send it up to Dage, and Dage behind the back, I think, as Dage secures it in for the first two points of the second round. 
The long-time veteran Dage putting in the first couple points of round two. Uh, cheers to Unspoken Lamel for the hydration. I uh, got that in right as the round was starting, as you might have saw. Appreciate that very much. Uh, also to Tubby Toad, what's up? Uh, Tippic and Skittles. I believe I'm subbing uh, on your guys' team uh, at some point in the next day. Welcome. Glad to see you all here. Yeah, definitely. Back into the action straight away, though, and it looks like we're nearly into an equalizing goal here as a good pass comes through in the open net for Kachutsby as the goalie tries to jump out to get the stun. Wow, what a pass there, seeing the open player. And the player was actually marked from the same block, but on the opposite side, it's good positioning there from Katrus as he's able to get the pass and manage to make the shot. Absolutely, and more shoutouts as well, by the way, Leg, Bro, and Toon for the follows uh, towards the beginning of the stream. Appreciate you guys. I also saw, again, first-time chatters all weekend as the shot maybe goes out there. Love to see it here. A lot of growth in VRML. We've already, in week one, exceeded our peak teams from season four. We're at 4.15 and expect that to keep on increasing, just like the score count wow. from Hex, making that count all right on cue. Hex securing another two for the team now. And yeah, four to two. This is now looking like a different round. They have an advantage, but can they capitalize on the counter QB? If they can manage to get a quick turnover inside the half of Fireball's early doors, then it would look good. They come out fast. GB sending out quite a fairly simple joust coming here, but they have managed to mess it up a little bit. GB will recover quickly, though, and that's the important thing. If you mess up, but then recover, that's the important thing. Brilliant nice. enter <laughs> from Gachus there to completely deny Alakos as now he looks for an open man. He finds an open stack, in fact. VR Zeta now looking for the pass. Not going to make it. Multi off the head. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. That is an unfortunate <laughs> one, and not one you expect to see from Diamond players, as that is not caught and instead off the head, and Hyper's going to be able to capitalize easily off that. It, you know, round one, the theme was all of these great grabs, all these great steals and interceptions, uh, certainly. Yeah. But this time, every once in a while, you're going to see that. It just slides past the hands of a couple of players. And just one of those awkward moments turns into a 50-50. And the beneficiaries, certainly the fireballs, as they're maybe going to benefit off of another turnover. That's going to be clear deep down. There's one player all alone. Make that two. But now the goal covered off quickly. Multi-diving out. Overtaken the immediate oh, pass. The punish. The pass. finish. And nice job on communicating that to just find the open advantage. You love it. I mean, that's textbook pass there. I mean, pressure into the goal, making the goalie think you're going to take the shot. And then goalie jumps out to try and get you and find the open man. And the player there can just literally walk it all the way in. And he does so via Zeta, making them two points up now. Alakos deciding to slow down this joust as it's been unsuccessful last time. But an unsuccessful pass there will go punish most likely. Kachus does take the disc. However, Dage is hot on the tail, looking to recover. And now Hex does manage to get a hand on an open goal here. He will take the shot and it's dinging. Oh my, this is unfortunate. They've had so many dings so far this game. And it's not looking good. If they could have hit those shots just a little bit closer, it would have been good. But guess who is oh, hitting the shots? No. no, it's another ding and ding from both sides now. Straight after the, each other, repeating themselves as GB takes the disc and passes it down low to Kachus. Kachus now. Holding on to Nagi, looking for the push in, sending it over the left, over to GB, GB sending it up, cross back, through the players of Nance, as that surprised them, gone through their hands, into the goal as well, VR Zeta, with a brilliant shot and a brilliant pass from GB. Oh yeah, that, that pass was saucy, really had to, once again, thread it, because there were, as you saw, there were defenders there on uh, the barrier, as well as in the goal, so... Uh, not the largest margins for error, but they made it work. Oh, oh dear. that's not going to work at all. A missed disc, Watch although they somehow get back in time. So good on them to at least be back on defense now. Yeah, that was a really unfortunate play to, like, miss the disc there, and it can be really punished usually. Oh, but they are so good at recovering. They managed to leech off the stacks, get the disc, buy them some time to get their defense back, and what a crucial defense it was, because Multi has a hand on him tonight. Another fantastic save from him, and a turnover. If they capitalize off it, it's, it's fantastic, and he does so. It's Alacosta put in the two. Wow, what a recovery. It didn't go too smoothly, but... They managed to work with what they had, and they worked well. Fantastic job. Never cease to be impressed by the defensive chops of these goalkeepers across the pond. For me, that is. Native to you, I suppose. But it's always yeah. a constant thing. You just see left and right, save, 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 save from so many talented goalkeepers, especially in this region. Yeah, Multi is honestly one of the most known goalkeepers over here on the EU side. He's always been incredibly strong. 
in in any team that he's been in in nameless in nance and he's done so well with hex and they're like a known duo that always play together and it works well because look at that goalie skills and it's so good and if they can manage to get another save here it would be really good but i believe alakos also a goalie so maybe playing for multiple goalie strats and they've been making so many saves the both of them and it's been working really well for their bubble defense and overall defense as now they're looking to translate not just defense, but actually make some offense work here because they need to put some more points on the board. They are losing right now. Hex is going to be the one to take the shot, and Hex takes the shot well. Eight to eight. We've got an equal game on our hands. That's right. And back to the Twitch chat also. Tubby Toad saying new display bottom right. Cool beans. Yeah, we got the updated mini map, uh, faster refresh rate. As far as the rest of the overlays, you'll be seeing some pretty immediate updates. We heard the feedback uh, certainly from this weekend, so... Uh, what you what you currently see is a good taste. We're going minimalism uh, in a, in a sense, but we still want to get more detail back. So uh, within the next day or two, I'd expect to see uh, some more fully fledged updates to the overlays. But thanks for noticing. <laughs> uh, back to the game here. Yeah, I mean, I love the new system. It looks really clean and really good, and you can see the whole game so beautifully. As that shot nearly goes in, it will be recovered, and of course, Alacost ain't missing that. He's going to put that one right in for two for his team. Wow, now they've translated this from losing by I think four points pretty recently to suddenly now winning by two with two minutes 50 seconds on the clock this could be close no a pause comes through I'm not sure who from but we have seen a pause yeah it would seem so so uh hey you know, only a two-point game in, in a situation where if you're uh, fireballs you want to put them away and obviously for not oh, though yeah. they need this win so I'm not sure what the timeout is is or isn't about but either way you got to use it to your advantage right to uh just discuss yeah re-strategize and if there are tech issues solve those obviously uh sir oh, sir trees in the chat now hold on a second uh i don't think i've seen you ever chat before in a way that wasn't with emojis on on discord so welcome to it i feel kind of blessed by the rarity of uh your presence uh glad to have you glad to have you i mean with this pause coming through it's it may be, I don't know who it's from, but for Fireballs right now, they need to take this and have a lot of thought into it. As, like, this is a huge round for them. Winning this game means so much. I mean, this is against master level players. I mean, we did see an unpause and an immediate pause straight after, but for Fireballs right now, they are winning a game that I wouldn't have expected them to win. So clearly they've done something in the offseason that's worked really well. And whatever they've done... They must take this round. They don't want to risk this going to a round three. I mean, I'd love to see it go to a round three, but Fireballs do not want to take it there as this could start getting dangerous. And it does look like Nantes are heating back up. As I say that, we're going to get back into the action. All right, and let's see. Clutch up time for both these teams. Couple minutes left, or otherwise it could be going to round three at this pace if not can hold on. But certainly Fireballs, just like they impressed at the end of season four, they are impressing to open up season five. And that is a season oh. pass, and that's oh. some spice. Putting it in is Saida, and waving them away to tie it at 10. Holy, that was a beautiful play. Sending it down low, and VR Zeta just knows exactly where the goalie can't reach, and no effort needed really just put it in there and don't even worry about it we've got 10 to 10 with two minutes it's a close game much closer than i could have ever predicted it to be i say that they're going to come out with once again another fast qb choosing to reset it though and the player's no longer there this could definitely go punished by fireballs they will be the ones to recollect it vr zeta takes a Ooh. zero angle not able to not able to make it on that one as now they do recollect out of a hyper pressure from the back is now gb looking to try and get the disc hex is going to look for the clear but a good intercept from hyper able to read that one sending the cross pass over to pillar no it's going to be stunned out immediately as now alakos taking it out and that clearly looks like it's not going to be intercepted at all Good read by Multi there on the defense to cause this turnover. See if they can change it into some offense as well. Overshooting slightly was Alakos, and that was all it took, however, to undo the offensive possession. Although they will get it back, and now maybe even a cherry pick opportunity or a cloud oh. shot. Either way, they need to rebound this, and they'll have themselves a lead. Spinning, and oh, maybe oh, winning oh, soon here. Yeah. Alakos puts them up by two. About a minute left after this joust. 
Finn to win, because that seemed to work very nicely for Alacost. I mean, even with the amount of pressure of all the stacks getting back, all the players trying to pressure him in the bubble there, he just spun around and put it in the goal like it was nothing. As now Fireballs need to return quickly if they want to take this in two rounds, as that missed pass will come off quite nicely for them, actually, as Gratus is going to be able to take the disc. Stunned out by a quick stack. They did not see that coming, neither did I, as VR Zeta takes the disc. Gratus is going to be able to now recollect it now, sending it over to GB. Stunned out once again. Another stack coming in quickly from behind us now. This is a clear all the way through. 36 seconds left on the clock. It's open for the goal, but no one's able to recollect it just yet. It will be in the hands of Alacost. Alacost is going to get stunned out. However, they have to do it fast. They must score very quickly. 26 seconds. Yeah, time is winding down again. A two-point game now picked off here. They have a chance to maybe tie it up. It dribbled down the floor and defense oh. from Dage and Hex diving out of the goal to meet those stacks right down below. Another take back by GB up top to Zeta and they have a chance at a tie. Could it be an overtime coming in soon? Wow. And yes, sir, it's OT wow. in round two. Wow, I mean, VR Zeta, knowing that the passes are marked and knowing that they have to take their time and actually work it in. They didn't rush too much. They just duped it all the way down, jumping down to Ness, then to Shield, and then into the goal. The disc ties up the game. Two minutes on the clock. We've got an overtime, ladies and gentlemen, on our mm -hmm. second round. Fireballs playing to win. Nantes, however, playing to lose. Let's see how they come out of the stacks. They're going to be racing to the disc because this disc, whoever gets it, has a good chance of Whoa. winning it. Oh, what an intercept by Dage as he sends a long shot maybe in. It's close, but not close <laughs> enough. Shit. No one's recollecting just yet. Alakos does do so. Dage does manage to slap it back. And what a good slap back. That's a brilliant reset. They have the offensive. They should win oh, this no. now. No, it's a brilliant intercept by VR Zeta and a bit of miscommunication. However, once again, intercepting the clears. Hex is going to be able to take the disc. Hex now moving forwards. Taking it. it slowly, he's going to move it down right, multi. Relaxing, sending it low, all the way over to Dage. Dage duking around, sending it a cut. No, it's not going to be good. Oh, no. Oh, man, this, this is where that patient play, like you, you saw they had that reset, maybe rushed a couple of those passes into clustered situations. Are they going to pay for it is the question here. It is sudden death overtime, and not they need to win this uh, this round in order to force that okay. round three. But Fireballs may be about to deny that because they've got the play up the floor and maybe a shot attempt resetting out to the boots and just beyond the grasp of the offensive player, thanks to Dej, who's interrupting. VR Zeta now sending it across down. This could be it. No, a missed pass. And so many whiffs coming here is not good. And they need to confirm on something if they want to take the win or if not want to actually finish this. VR Zeta, they have another opportunity. They cannot mess up this one. And they've done it again. Oh, dear. Now, Hex, is he going to be able to recollect? No, it's Dage. Dage with a good slap out going right past the ear of the player from Fireballs there. As the stack able to recollect just before GB. A missed clear. However, Alakos takes the disc. Takes a shot. Looks good. No, it's just going to clip Ness there. Takes another shot. Hits the shield. Oh, no. They can't be affording to miss this. 27 seconds. We could be looking at a second overtime as the shot comes all the way through here. It's not on target. They will recollect and they will score. And Fireballs have won the game 14 to 12. They've closed out over team time with 20 seconds left. Wow, what a game. Oh my goodness. Now, those both of those teams, you can tell, they were feeling the absolute pressure of overtime on the first stream of this season. And what a way to do it in an exciting overtime fashion. But that is an impressive win, certainly from the impressive Fireballs team. How about it? I mean, it's incredible. I, I wouldn't have bet on this team. I would have bet on... None. I mean, they've they've proved themselves multiple times. You have really high-level players. I mean, admittedly, it's a bit of a new team after Smash Dash broke up, but still, it is a really strong one. Dage is definitely not uh, a hindrance to the team. He's definitely a huge addition to the team coming from Smash Dash, and that's a huge master tier player as well, as well as all these other players having opportunities in Master. Whilst ending the season in High Diamond last season, they did play in Master for quite a while, but... I mean, what am I to say? Masters qualifiers was full of loads of surprises. Lots of low and mid and high diamond teams beating old master teams. Even though in this off season, master teams have still been training. I mean, they've been training more than anyone, but it looks like the diamond teams have been training even more because they have come out amazingly and they really wanted master and everyone seems to be working really hard for it. I want to see if Fireballs can get into that Challenger Cup and be forcing for master next cycle.
No, absolutely. You wonder why at the beginning I misspoke and said this was a master tier match. Just because I'm I'm used to seeing these players at the master level just as recently again as, as uh, this past weekend and, and prior seasons. So it would not be a surprise, I think, to anyone to see that become a reality again. Of course, a three-cycle season this time around. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of opportunities to squeeze into master over the course of the next several months. Uh, over to the Twitch, yeah, by the way, shout out to Pyro Games. Thank you for the community sub. Uh, gave out one gifted sub there over to Defoliate Rex. So hello to all you guys. Appreciate the support very, very much. And Rush Dash Edits for the follow as well. Uh, yeah, thank you guys again. Uh, we also have, I think, let's see, 30 minutes away. So I think we, we can end this stream safely in a minute. But any uh, final thoughts or shout outs otherwise you want to uh, give, Locky? I mean, just, just an incredible game and... The fact that the players from Fireballs were just able to sink every shot and seem to play as well as they can, very impressive. Absolutely. Uh, it was... Let's see. Oh, I, apologies for that. I missed your word sneak, but I feel bad since we're not casting anymore. I'll, I can get that later, but I'll refund you. Uh, there you go. Uh, for those tuning in, we do have, again, another match. It's not for roughly half an hour, uh, 28 minutes from now. So it will be uh, Mamma Mia versus The Divide. I'll be casting that here again on this channel. So not too far away. Uh, later in the day, of course, we'll have some more streams for you. I, I know someone up above, I didn't get to it earlier. Someone was asking about us. Uh, we're not supposed to stream until Friday or something of that sort. Uh, but false. Pleasantly false. So yeah, if you're not familiar with VRML streams, you can expect to have casted matches across our three regions globally uh, pretty much every day, at least I would say you know, five to six days of the week. You know, it's not often we miss a day. So if you're new to VRML or the streams, give us a, a follow for sure and across any of our channels. You can find the links to channels two and three uh, kind of below in the uh, description or the, uh, the, the channel bio. But yeah, VRML 2, VRML 3, and this is VRML 1. We'll be here basically every day. Uh, OCE, EU, and uh, NA. Uh, it's a 24-7 uh, type of uh, league that we run here. Uh, but in any case, no problem game dev. And uh, yeah, all right. So until next time, that was our first stream. Thank you, Locky11, for joining me on this co-cast. I've been Palador. And you guys have been great. Uh, be happy, healthy, safe, and be good to each other. And I'll see you, hopefully in 27 minutes for our next stream. VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Asterian Products, Border Foods, VR Cover, ProTube VR, Rebuff Reality, and VRWare.net.